Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the seventh of the month and that means it is another Smash Our Stash. Um, this month for April is Brad's and I kind of messed up on this because I was purging some things in my craft area probably, I want to say it probably was about a month ago and I did not look that far ahead and I purged most of my Brad's. So I don't have a ton of Brad's to purge or to smash for this month. But I do have some brads in my collection that I've had for probably, uh, it's got to be either three to four years. And they're adorable. I just don't have um, a way to use them up. So what I have left um, for brads are these little KitchenAid mixers. I think I have four of those. I have a black, a green, a red, and a, a blue here. And then I've got five measuring cups. And these are literally the only brads I have. Um, I don't have a very large craft area to craft in. So I try and keep my supplies at a minimum. Um, I've been buying a lot lately and I am on a spending, um, not a spending spree. I was on a spending spree. I'm on a spending halt right now, um, at least until the summer. I'm, I'm going to go as long as I can without purchasing anything. So um, but unfortunately, these are the only breads I have. But since I have nine of these breads, I thought I would maybe come up with nine different ways to use them. Um, so what I have here is a pocket letter that was made out of a um, collection that was also probably about three to four years old. Um, I don't even know what it is, so I apologize for that. But it is a um, kind of a retro kitchen look. It has a canning or garden theme. Um, so I made a pocket letter here. It's got adorable colors. I mean, I just love this floral, that green with the yellow and red. I made a little rosette um, kind of ribbon here. I thought that was cute because it kind of made it look like you won a, maybe a, a ribbon at the fair for canning. Um, added some stickers here. I've got a little shaker KitchenAid down here, which I absolutely adore. And I used um, paper in the collection and it makes it really kind of look retro. Um, in the back, I just have some goodies, um, some homemade bows, a little like Maggie Holmes inspired thread bow, um, some jemmies, some flowers, um, some tags from the collection, a, um, oh, what is it? A tassel, sorry. <laughs> um, some paper clips, some tiny yellow pom-poms, and a leather die cut bow. So one of the simplest ways you can do with brads, um, and something that I'm going to do when I send this pocket letter is you can package them up and give them, you know, as gifts, because if you can't use them, chances are somebody else can. Um, so I have these little mini paper bags that um, I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance. They just look like a tiny little grocery bag. They're super cute. Um, and I liked that it had some dimension. So since the blue, you know, it matches a little bit. It's just, a, it's more blue. This is more aqua. I'm going to gift that one instead of um, including it. And then I'm going to put, so I'm going to do four total. So I'll do four two of the measuring cups and two of the mixers. Um, and I think I'll put the black one in here as well. So that is just the little bag. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put two holes in it here and then I'm just gonna thread some ribbon through it. And that one is going to be done. Um, I just have my little um, We Are Memory Keeper. This is for the um, the uh, grommets. So I'm just going to do two holes like that. I've got some ribbon over here and super easy. I'm just going to thread this through like that and like that. And I'm just going to do a simple, I don't even think I'll do a bow. I think I'm just going to do a simple double knot. Okay, trim off the edges and this is done and it looks absolutely adorable. So that'll be a fun little gift um, to send along with the pocket letter. Okay, so there are four of them gone. So that's that. Um, I'm also gifting these doilies along with it. So what I did is just reuse some packaging. I took a piece of paper from the collection um, 
put in some doilies that matched fairly well. I used one of the doilies to make the um, bag topper. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to, um, let's decide where we're gonna put it. So I'm gonna actually just attach a mixer and a measuring cup to this. So this has the red, so I'm gonna do, I think I'll do two holes, one towards the top and one towards the bottom here. And I'm just literally going to include a brad on the packaging. And with this, the brad can easily be reused because um, you can just unbend the back when you take the goodies out of the bag and they can reuse it. I'm just trying to adjust my, my device here so I can get them both in there. I think I'll do one there. Okay, so I have two holes. I'm just going to put that through. And I love that these match the um, pocket letter so well. Okay, so there's the red one on there. It also gives it a little bit more um, dimension because it has a different texture. All right, so this one's a little tight, so I'm just going to make it crooked on there. Put that on there. And there's that. It just adds a little bit more to the bag topper. So that is all set. Another thing I wanted to try is I wanted to hang one um, kind of as a dango off of either here, like either this, or off the side here. Um, so I'm going to attempt, I did not try this ahead of time, so forgive me, but I'm going to attempt to remove this, the backing on it. Um, and each brad, um, you'll notice they're, they're attached very differently. So this one is just part of the metal. And you can see it's just folded over. Um, sometimes it's a whole piece that's attached to the back that you, can, that you would need something like this for to pull it out. So this one, I was very fortunate. I didn't need to do that. Um, so when it is like this, I can go ahead and I can actually put hot glue on there or put foam adhesive on there and use it as a decoration, which I think I'm going to do for one of these. But what I wanted to try and do, and this goes through anything. So if you have one of these, um, you know, try and try and make a um, like a charm out of something. So I'm gonna attempt. A, so there's two sides. There's a small side and a larger side um, as far as holes go. So I'm gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna see if I can actually punch through here. it worked it did okay cool so you can see I was able to put a hole through there so I'm gonna grab a um, jump ring and I'm going to put a jump ring through there one moment okay so I'm just going to open up my jump ring like that I'm gonna feed it through here and before I close it up, let's see where I want to dangle it from. I think I'm going to try and do it from this corner here. So I'm going to take the exact same thing. I'm going to take my chomper here. I want to take the small side, which is this side. And this would be much easier if I hadn't already um, done the gluing and, and put it together. But um, just trying to see where I'm at here. Sorry. I'm just gonna try and put it through. Okay, I got it right there. Okay, so I was able to get it right where I wanted it. So I have it there. Now I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm going to put it through there. Oh, very cool. All right, look how cute that looks on there. So it's just hanging off the end there of the ribbon. I think that looks adorable. Um, all right, so now I have two measuring cups 
left. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of here. And I think I'm gonna use this one as a, um, just a little decorative piece, almost like you're putting a, like a jemmy on to something. So I think I'm gonna either put it up here or maybe, maybe down here. I'm gonna take this pocket letter out and I think I'm gonna put it right here in the corner of this one. So I think I'll try, I'm gonna try foam adhesive just because it's got, um, I don't know if you can see the back of this brad and most brads probably will have a little um, divot in there. It's gonna be dimensional, sorry, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little piece of foam tape. I'm going to Stick it in there. And what I usually do with foam tape, um, especially on pocket letters so nothing comes apart, is it's got the sticky back, but I'm also gonna add um, hot glue to it. So just a dot of hot glue. And I'm just gonna pop that up in the corner. There, now it just becomes a metal dimensional piece that I use almost like a sticker. So look how that look cute that looks with the um, the mixer shaker. Okay, so I love that. Okay, so I have one left. Um, the last thing I'm gifting is this little mixer right here. And I'm wondering if I could do the same thing with like making a charm out of it. I could dangle it from the corner here. Um, so I could punch another hole in it. I could just actually add like a, a strip of paper here and kind of just put that in the corner. Again, like using it as a jemmy. Um, let me think. Let's, let's take these off because I think we're gonna do that anyway, regardless of which way I go with it. Let's make another charm with it. So this time I'm going to try and put the hole back here between the handle and the top. So let me get this out again. And I am just kind of eyeballing where I want it to go. I don't want it too close to the edge. That one is not as clean. I probably should have gone down a little bit more, but let me put a, um, a jump ring on there and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I took a larger jump ring this time because I um, am gonna need it to dangle just a little bit further. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks like that. I think I'm gonna add a little wire wrapped bead to it as well. Um, and then it'll just be a little kind of double charm. So let me grab that. Okay, so just going through my stash, I found one that I had already made up. It is a green one. Um, that's one thing I want to do. Um, I need to build up my stash a little bit more. I'm running out of things that are convenient to have on hand, like the wire wrapped beads. Okay, so it worked out good that that had a little bit of a longer wire wrap on it because it sits right underneath the measuring cup. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch a hole in here and we will attach it. So again, I want... The smaller side, that's the one I've been using. I don't want to get too close to the corner, but I do want it to kind of dangle. Okay, so it looks good right there. Put this on. Okay. And this will fit perfect in there. So I've just got my, my two tools. I'm just going to put those back together, make sure that it is closed tight. All right, and that's what that one looks like. So I think that added a really cute little touch to that. So now it kind of all ties everything together. So I've got the little mixer here that is a charm. I've got this one dangling off there. I've got this one used kind of like a sticker. Um, these I used like actual brads. And then I'm gifting the remainder. 
So even though I didn't have a ton and I wasn't smashing my stash, I feel really good about using up um, supplies that I've had on hand for several years. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please remember to look at the links below and um, check out everybody else's channel. Um, if you decide to smash your stash this month, please uh, hashtag it on Instagram. Hashtag smash our stash 2021. And we'd love to see your projects. Thanks for watching.